Hello and welcome to Factorio, uh, no belt, no robot, I'm a Cretio. In the last episode we started clearing out some areas to expand to get this ion and hopefully this ion, maybe even this, uh, this oil, but I don't know about that yet. But in this episode I will go and clean out or clear out this area. Because we have loads of Bito bases over here, and we don't really need those Bito bases. Um, so yeah, let's just go get going. And I think I will go from our current position, and then just continue from there. But right now, clean up what we have, and oh, they are attacking. I'm not surprised. Not at all. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Please kill those spiders. Thank you. And that should be enough to take care of this, I hope. It's not? Okay. Let's put another one. And then we have another few. Oh, did we even get power to those ones? Yes, we do. Okay, so another base over there, and while the turrets are working hard with those, let's uh, get everything else uh, collected. So over there, let's grab all of the goo. Oh, do we have repair packs? We have a couple, but we need more repair packs. Um, and how do we get repair packs? Well, we need to go through everything. I've, oh, and this is a quite big base. This is the biggest base we will handle, I think. So let's start like this and then try to force our way uh, straight north. Oh, damn, we need power. We need loads of power. But the good thing with these bases are that when you when you kill the initial biters, it takes a little bit longer for new biters to spawn, meaning it's a bit easier once you get the initial stuff fixed. And let's not worry about cleaning up after us. I mean, we have like a hundred turrets. Instead, let's place turrets all along the uh, the path we're taking. That way we can make sure that the biters can't move from the left to the right. Move out of the way, please. I don't intend to die. So moving out of the way when you're getting shot at is the safest way to uh, to handle biters. Or to, hand to avoid getting killed at least. Okay, we still have loads of turrets. I think we just take out this base and then we go through the forest or maybe around the forest. That might be that might be a solution. It might actually be easier to just go around. There we go. Like that. And we have new turrets and even more turrets and more turrets than that. Yeah, everything is being taken care of. How many robots have we lost? Oh, we have lost quite a few. We, we need more robots. Uh, but we can clean... I think we can clean out all of this area as this without needing more robots. But then we need robots. Once it's cleaned out and once we... Uh, Get back to normal duty. We need more robots. Let's hide behind the uh, behind wall of. Oh, we don't have any power poles. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, that means we can't actually. Oh, come on. That's not good. That means we can place things, but it doesn't help because we. Oh. That should be over there. This should be like this. Do that. Uh, but no power poles means that we can't attack because we can't 
provide power to our uh, to our turrets. But now we have some power poles at least, and we don't have uh, resources to create more power poles. That is the biggest problem. That we don't actually have the turrets or have the power poles. That's a. Uh, it's not a big problem. Oh, there are loads and loads of uh, stone on the ground. How is our inventory? It's quite okay this far. So let's pick it up. Let's pick up all of the stone and hopefully we we can... Oh, there we go. Hopefully we can get it to good use. What are we missing? We are missing copper. Okay, I thought it would be... Uh, what's it called? Steel, as usual. Let the robots catch up. And then we go on and we have some copper over here. Actually, it's really bad doing it the way I'm doing it. We're just going in and looting something. Okay, and then we need some steel. Okay, so we can create those 50 power poles. But we need more than 50 power poles, I think. Oh, 58. We need 58 power poles. Okay. That's not good. But that's how it is. Uh, yeah, we will, when we can repair turrets. Oh yeah, that's the other thing we want. We want to create repair packs. Let's create all of them. Then we don't have a lot of iron but that's fine so let's just go down again actually let's have a look where are our there's our turrets okay then i want to connect them up to our base just to make sure we have some redundant power to the to all of the area we have actually down below there we go now we should have Redundant power all around if this power pole is being placed as well. Please go. Yeah, goody. So we basically have a wall, not a wall, but loads of turrets over here. Not up here, but that's fine. Everything to the right of that. We should remove, uh, remove all of the biters. That should be pretty easy to do, I think. Let's get rid of those. I think I want some... Uh, let's get back robot. Thank you. I think I need a bit more uh, turrets because we only have 26 plus the 50 in the hotbar. So that's like 76. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's not good, but it's a bit better. Okay, now we just need to go back down and uh, take out the robots and place place uh, radars as we go along. Oh, and now we are basically leaving the safe area. And we are going into, into battle again. Yay! So please... Make sure to get everything placed and uh, make every turret count, I guess. It's at least a goal. It might not be that way. It will probably not be that way. Placing loads of them lure the uh, biters out to kill those. And then when we are more or less out of biters, we can go in to kill the base like this. Uh, that way if we had a lot of worms we wouldn't have to worry about both the worms and the bites at the same time. Okay, come on. Okay, that's that. Let's see, we have these two bases, we have that big base and that big base. Okay, but we can... Let's have a look. We do have some inventory space. So let's grab all of this back again, and all of this, and all of this. I'm not worried about all of the turrets, but I want the 
bigger part of them. So, one over there, one over here, I think, yep. Yeah. And then we just go to the right from that. But getting most of the turrets back makes it way easier to handle everything. How many robots do we have? We have 44 extra robots. That's actually the right way of measuring it. How are we with this? Yeah, we. Oh, coming to think of that. We actually researched the uh, Power Armor Mark II and we haven't done anything with it. We should really build this. We should actually build, have built it before we went on this journey. Never mind. I don't think we will build it. I want this just as a backup and then, well actually let's place a couple of those just to have to lure the biters. Oh, it's not a big base. I thought it was way bigger than it was. Then we can load the biters manually and go back and please kill those biters. And then when we place more turrets, they won't have time to uh, really destroy them. I hope. And we can take out the base very much faster than we could uh, uh, than we could do it otherwise. Yep, yeah, that will handle that one. That will handle this spawner. And then we have, let's have a look. We want one turret down here and one turret down there. So that's what we're gonna do when we get there. But for now, we actually want to go back a bit. Hmm, should we go down here? I think we should go down there right away. Let's get all of this, all of this stuff, hopefully not filling up our inventory. Please get that one as well. I thought this was in range. Uh, as soon as this robot is back, we will go to the down right side to get the, to get the uh, uh, radar. That's the name of it, to get the radar in place. And hopefully no biters will see me. At least not from this big base, because that would have been quite bad. Radar over here. Goody. And then it will... Oh, we might want to place a radar in the middle as well. Let's see, where is that? It's just after our, our path over here. Right about here maybe? Nah, up here. There we go. Okay, so we have a little bit extra. Yeah, we could have placed it one turret up or something. It That doesn't really matter that much. But we have the area scanned. Now oh, let's see. If we go down and place a turret here, then we could actually go from below and up to grab this base. Let's do that. And we do have a path, so it's basically no problem at all, or shouldn't be dangerous at least. And I think we want to place this as f oh, yeah, place it over here, I guess. Let's have a look. What does it say? Yeah, this is good. It scans this basic area over the water. Uh, so what if we does if we don't scan it? It doesn't really matter. Um, we can't anyway. We can't use the scanning over water. So let it be like that. Maybe I should go between those spaces up to this area to go down again. I should do that. That way it's easier to uh, collect everything back up. But we don't want to trigger the biters in either of the bases. If we do, we should actually have this prepared. 
uh, to be able to oh it's close to the base of my foot but here's some iron goody but if we trigger them we have to go up to our defense and then hide basically <laughs> oh this wasn't too bad it worked out better than i it worked out as good as i hoped and better than i expected and then we can start placing down power poles for going downwards. There we go. Please place those. We can go down to this area. We could actually place a few more power poles. Okay. This is a big base. I want to make sure that we have enough defense. Oh, and they are already attacking me. But that's fine because they are getting toasted now. Okay. Something like that. Oh, don't. Please don't tell me we have run out of power poles again. Well, we haven't. It's something else, like uh, not having enough robots or something like that. And then I mean, I don't mean that we don't have enough robots, because we have extra robots that aren't being used at the moment. I'm more talking about having uh, robots, uh, not having enough robot ports. There we go. Grab all of this, all of that. And then we just clean up this general area. And then we go over to the to the left, to this. Oh, we have something in this small forest. It's, it's a small worm. That's fine. Let's do the small worm manually. I was a bit afraid it was a bigger worm. It's clear that it was clear to me that it was a worm, but the size of it I couldn't see from the uh, from the radar. Okay, so it's over here. That makes it a little bit strange to get to, but let's do it like this, I think. And then we need another power pole over here. And then let's place that power pole and let's place these turrets. And then we go in. Oh, we actually need to grab that turret as well. I kind of missed that. And then we can go in. And that should place those turrets. And that basically should uh, handle most of the base. There we go. The big worm, that's the biggest threat. And mostly everything is finished. Oh! How are we on repair packs? We have 68 repair packs. Okay, so they are actually repairing. I just thought it was loads of damage. I didn't think it, anything was being repaired. Okay, they're coming for me, which I do understand. But now we are coming for them, and uh, I don't stand a chance. Let's do one more of them, just to make sure to get the rest of it. And I think we have cleared the area now, yes. So now we need to clean everything up, which means getting the robots to do a lot of tedious work. Oh, I could uh, of course continue with marking what I want while the robots are working over here. Good, okay, so nothing more over there. Let's go on. Like over here, then we have this area. Do we have any, anything else? No, what about, oh, we don't have anything else. So this is the path back. I can't see anything else at least. So we are just gonna go in the power in the normal path 
and hopefully everything will fit in our inventory and it looks like it all the big things we have had space for the big things at least uh, is this the next one let's have a look at the map yep it was and then we just continue until the next until we get the connection to the rest of the the grid i think this is the last one yes it should be come on yeah there we go so we have cleaned out that area which is kind of good but we still have an area the same size to go. How are we on robots? We don't have enough. But we only have a free robot port, so it's not a big deal. I'm thinking about continuing. Let's do that. Let's continue for a while. Just get some. Just go down and get some random bases. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're repairing that one. That's fair enough. Thank you for doing that, robot. But could have chosen a better, better opportunity to do it. Let's grab some of the goo as we walk along. Oh, and that will be repaired. But there we go. Now we have uh, another base. So let's set up some defense for that one. And hopefully we have the power needed. I think we do. And then we just go and irritate the biters, and they come and attack us. And we go forward with, uh, with attacking them. Since they attacked us when we tried to uh, take their home, we are in the full right to invade, aren't we? I think we are. I hope it's not like this in... Uh, in real war talk. Okay. Well, they they said stop, so we felt we had the right to invade. That doesn't sound like a good way of doing things. Okay, let's grab all of that. Well, actually, let's grab all of this as well, because we have too many turrets over here. We need the turrets for other things. Um, Let's not worry about those turrets. Oh, and it's also about power poles. Something like that. Everything is connected. And then we go back and the robots go to work once more to get, get things removed. And I guess, didn't we get another power pole? Yes, we did. If the robots want to place it. There we go. And then we go on. We have... Well, uh, we actually need one defense because if we don't have it and they spawn a big biter, I won't be able to defend against it. Oh, retreat. Whoa, that was a worm that I didn't see. Um, let's go back and load this game. Hopefully it's not too... Oh. It's before we went to that base. Okay. Fair enough. I can't complain really. Well, I can. But I won't. Because it was my own fault. Okay. Let's go and do this attack again. Irritate all of the enemies. And then we just spam click turrets. There we go. And now we walk forwards. Getting everything placed. Oh, retreat, retreat. I think we have a big worm that's attacking us. And that's... We could have done this the first time. We didn't know. But, yeah, it worked out. Now let's go and grab everything. And then we go to this one. Placing a few... Uh, your power poles like that and like that and then we continue with the base that we want <laughs> the base with let's have a look at the map yeah it looks like one spawner 
and one worm that we weren't able to handle last time. It's embarrassing, that's what it is. It's really embarrassing. Okay, so you grab everything. And this time, let's go in with the turrets instead. This time, I don't want to take my chances. I know that they are way worse than they seem. Oh, I don't even know where they are. What was killing me last time? I don't even know. It didn't seem like they had a worm. I, d I don't know what killed me. Okay, so what's the next target? I'm gonna go and say let's go down and then we go over here we go in a we build a wall in 45 degrees but to do that oh let's actually grab this this goo but to do that we need to go back over here and go around the lake well, we could actually go down and do it and then go the other way around the lake. Let's do that instead. That's a little bit easier. There we go. A bit of defense set up. Not a lot, but a bit of defense. Meaning that we can protect ourselves from these, these bases. Like this one, oh, like this base, please shoot that as well, goody, thank you. And we have a few bases to the left. Hmm, but, oh, where do we want to set it up? We want to set it up over here, basically. Uh, this one in that direction, and we want to go with the turrets, like, over here, I think. No, over, over here. Then we have the big power poles in the right position. Oh, we don't have a lot of big power poles. I just remembered that. Wait, didn't that one? Oh, okay. Let's place it like that one. Then we use the small power poles to connect. We have this one. Come on, please find your way. We have that one. And then we can just continue like that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all of these turrets. Oh, and actually get rid of that as well, just to get the goo. And then we replace it. Let's get the, the wall in place now. There we go. And we have be begun the construction of another wall. Yay! Let's see, this is what we want. Let's take out those two bases. And once we have done that, then we can go and... Oh! Okay. Now I have some defense at least. Okay. Fair enough. This is taken care of. This is almost taken care of. We need this to be taken care of as well. When we have done that, let's go and uh, bring and grab all of the goo. Oh, we had more goo in the south. Okay, but now we have all of it. Where are you? Was it some attack just now? Hmm, let's have a look. No, I don't think so. Oh, I just realized I should place, uh, I should place radar down in the south end of this wall. But I'm thinking about placing this radar. Mm, I think this is so is enough to the south. And then we need the uh, power to go around. And then I would say that we are finished for this episode. 
Uh, let's see where are we? We are over here. Okay. Please walk around this. Oh, that one. And then we have. Oh, yeah. These we might not need. Let's actually grab them, but let's make sure we have the, the power set up first. There, there we go. Okay, and grab this one, grab these ones. Yeah, now we have yeah, now we have the power going this way as well. So everything down below here we could just grab. Let's do that. Let's clean it up a bit. Um, and basically that's what I'm gonna do the rest of this episode which will be like two minutes or something like that up here please and yeah that should be all we are grabbing actually so thank you for watching see you next time when we will well hopefully get the rest of this area Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.